Coming up, originally from Czechoslovakia, Josef Frantzek was a fighter pilot who fought for four different air forces in the Second World War. As Nazi Germany invaded country after country, Frantzek, like many others, was pushed back to a new country and a new air force until he finally was able to settle in with the RAF, just in time for the legendary Battle of Britain, where he would become the highest scoring foreign pilot in the entire conflict. Young Josef Frantzek first joined the Air Force of his home country of Czechoslovakia in 1934. In 1936, he was posted to the 2nd Air Regiment where he flew recon biplanes. From the earliest records, Joseph played by his own rules. He regularly got into trouble for fighting, being late, and other breaches of discipline. It is extremely likely that he would have been dishonorably discharged, but he showed great promise as a pilot, so he was kept in the service. Very soon, this potential would lead him into a fighter group, but his path would be cut short as in 1938, Hitler led Germany to occupy this area of Europe, causing the armed forces of the region to be disbanded. This would leave Frontisek without a plane to fly or a country to fly for. So, shortly after, he, along with many other airmen, fled to Poland to join the Polish Air Force. Here, he would yet again have his flying tenure cut short by advancing German forces. Upon the invasion of Poland in 1939, Josef fled Poland for France, where he once again joined the Air Force, hoping to get his chance to fight against Hitler. But once again, blitzkrieg warfare takes this chance from him. So once more, he escapes the advancing German occupation and flees across the channel to England. Here, he again signs up to get in the air, but this time, with the Royal Air Force, he would get his chance and much more. As fate would have it, his arrival was just in time for the legendary Battle of Britain, and Britain was absolutely desperate for fighter pilots. Winston Churchill can be heard here expressing the gratitude for the foreign pilots that have come to join the RAF. Check. Poland, Norwegians, Dutch, Belgians have joined their causes to our own. But General Vagon calls the Battle of France is over. I expect that the Battle of Britain is about to begin. Josef quickly began training, but he did have some early trouble. Because in the years prior, flying for the Czechs, Polish, and the French, Frontisek was flying completely obsolete aircraft. These aircraft always had fixed landing gear. So, when he began flying for the Polish 303rd Squadron in the RAF, the advanced Hawker Hurricane that he flew was completely different from the planes he had previously flown. The landing gear had to be lower and raised. Because of this, in the first week of training in August of 1940, Yosef actually forgot to lower the landing gear before a landing and accidentally belly landed his hurricane on the airfield. Luckily, he was unharmed and his aircraft was repairable. His squadron entered action just a few weeks later, and Frontisek would down his first aircraft on September 2nd, where he came up on a Messerschmitt BF-109 and sent it down east of Dover. The very next day, he would best another German fighter, taking down another 109 into the channel.
Two days later, he took down his first bomber, a Yunkers Ju-88. In the same dogfight, he would take down another fighter escorting the bomber. So, in a span of three days, Josef Frantisek has tallied his first four kills in the midst of the Battle of Britain. However, things would not continue to be so easy for the young pilot. On the 6th of September, he would almost lose his life chasing his next kill. Frontisek would run into the highly skilled JG-52 group of fighters for the Luftwaffe. He would land hits on a BF-109 that would send it down with the pilot bailing out. But in the process, his hurricane took heavy damage in the scrap, and he was barely able to make it out of the dogfight. Once he made it to friendly territory, he was forced to make a landing in a field. He would walk away and live to fight another day. It was at this point, now that he had become an ace, that he really began to make a name for himself. But not the name you might expect. His reputation became that of an undisciplined and unruly pilot. He often failed to follow rules and orders from his superiors. But he continued to show such skill as a fighter pilot that his commanding officers had no choice but to allow him to play by his own rules. Many thought he was a danger to the squadron when flying in formation, so a compromise was reached where he was given a spare hurricane and allowed to fly on his own free hunts. This is where Frontisek really started to reach his full potential. He would hunt alone over the channel in the Kent areas where he knew German aircraft would be on their way back to base, likely low on ammo and fuel. Using this strategy, in the next few weeks, Josef Frantisek would down 12 more aircraft, bringing his total to 17. This included six BF-109 fighters and six HE-111 bombers. These victories would make him one of the top scorers of the entire Battle of Britain and the single highest score among non-British pilots. In late September, he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Medal for his incredible efforts.
But on October 8th, just a few weeks later, Frontasek's career would be brought to an abrupt end. While on return from patrol, his Hawker Hurricane crashed into a field in Surrey. The exact reason for the crash is not known, but theories range from physical or mental exhaustion to even attempting to impress his girlfriend with aerobatic maneuvers. Regardless of the cause, the one thing that we can be certain of is that Josef Frantzek was one of the most impressive and inspiring fighter pilots in history. With so many chances to give up on his dreams of flying, he continued to run and work until he was given an opportunity to fight against Hitler's invading forces. And when finally given his chance, he certainly did not let it pass. He instead made sure that he achieved greatness and left his name in the history books forever by fighting against the tyranny that had invaded his home country. I hope you enjoyed this historical recreation. Please make sure to click subscribe and comment if you have any ideas for future videos. If you want to support my hard work making these videos and get access to awesome bonus content and even bloopers, please consider clicking join below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.